standing by now to hear the final clearance to launch from the range. SRO LC, page 90, T minus 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Request range clearance to launch. Roger, you have final range clear to launch. Thank you. Air Force Range Safety has. LCC, LC, LCC. Go. Go. Page 90, T minus 5 minutes on time. LCC, Roger. Next event to occur will be at T minus 4 minutes when Mars Observer will be placed on internal power. Mars Observer will conduct their final status readiness checks at T minus 3 minutes. We're now at T minus 5 minutes and counting. T minus 5 minutes and counting. T minus 5 minutes, step 1 is verified. Roger, copy. Titan core vehicle goes to internal power only in the last half minute of the countdown. And at that time also the... T minus four minutes, 30 seconds. At that time the Titan uh, will also be armed should there be a contingency. by now to take Mars Observer to internal power. T minus four minutes. Communications is now at a minimum as we are in the final part of the countdown and there are no issues in work. T minus three minutes, 30 seconds. The focus of our activity for about the first 15 or 20 minutes will be in the Mission Director Center as we watch the Titan III activities and then the focus will switch to the Mars Observer Mission Operations Center where we will be watching the TOSS and uh, Mars Observer flight events. We'll have real-time data through the Araya T minus three minutes. and the Indian Ocean Station. Minute, we'll T minus starting, two minutes, 30 seconds. We'll be starting uh, all of the launch data recorders here on the ground to get the flight data. Mm -hmm. SRO LC, page 91, T minus two minutes, steps one and two. Instrumentation LC, page 91, T minus two minutes, step three, AFLC, step four. We're LC, AFLC, step four. The, uh, FPSO LC, T minus 155, step one. Verified. This means that the LCSRO, firing chain uh, is being armed. Roger, copy. Minus two, item three, Roger. Roger. Ground instrumentation, LC, page 91, T minus one minute, 30 seconds, step one. Standing by now in another T minus minute. one minute, 30 yeah. seconds. Button will be pushed. T minus 70 seconds. Minus 65, the button is being pushed. T minus one minute. Launch sequence is started. Ground computer is now controlling the launch through liftoff. T 
Toss has gone to inertial guidance. Toss now on internal power. Titan now going to internal power. 30 seconds. 25 seconds. Rain Safety Command Destruct System has been armed. Fuel valves are now being opened. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff, liftoff of the Titan III rocket with the Mars Observer and America's return to the Red Planet. And the vehicle has cleared the tower. Roll program is in, pitch program is in. Both solids are burning normally. We have a very clean burn going. The flight of Mars Observer is underway. Good vehicle data. Both solids look good. Data coming in here to the Mission Director Center shows we have a nominal flight. Titan now going through the sound barrier. Air Force Station at Jupiter Inlet has acquired. Going through Max-Q, going through the sound barrier look very good. A very clean flight. Winds uh, at altitude reported to be light, showing very little perturbations on the launch vehicle. Our flight data looks excellent. Solid's continuing to burn well. Data now coming through both TEL-4 at the Cape and the Jupiter Inlet tracking station. The trajectory is right on the money. Now 18.3 statute miles downrange, velocity 2,384 miles per hour. First stage has ignited. Both engines burning well. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. And that is confirmed. We have a very, very good flight left uh, now to Skip Mackey in the Central Telemetry Facility now confirming our second stage activity. Solid jettison look normal. First stage engines continue to burn well. Copy. Guidance steering is very light. Attitude disturbances are practically non-existent because we're pretty much out of the atmosphere. And it looks very good. I'll repeat. Altitude now 28,000. 282,000 feet, 54 miles downrange. Pretty much straight line telemetry, which is what we like to see at this time. Both solids look very, very stable. Excuse me, both, both first stage engines look very stable. Hey, we're on 1P. Uh, we'll be looking for a T plus two hour quick look at review. Altitude 108 nautical miles. Velocity. Everything's still going fine here. Hour. Both engines look very good, very clean and quiet. 351 miles downrange. Fairing jettison were good. You look at the attitude disturbances, you'd hardly know it came off. It looked very, very clean, and both engines continue to burn well. We now have
have radar contact at Bermuda. Both first stage engines continue to burn well. First stage continues to burn well. Have stage two ignition and first stage shutdown. And stage two hydraulics is up. It looks like we got a good stage two.